Hey guys, welcome back. It's a new day, new outfit, flannel. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see behind me here, we got it. It's here in one piece. So we'll just start taking them off the trailer, I guess. And uh, the winch, the brake on the winch, I should say, is broken. So it's going to want to come off relatively fast. So we'll just be careful. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, it's down. Mission accomplished. Now working on it's going to be a lot easier. So uh, I'm excited. It's here. Well, let's start by sweeping the bed out real good. I gotta say, being as dirty and grody as this is, it cleans up real nice. I mean, for being a farm truck, this bed is not all dented in and destroyed. Like, I am surprised at how good this is. And it's not rotted out at all. It's really solid, so, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a lot better. Yeah, there's a really nice pickup bed underneath all that dirt. The spare tire sat there for a million years, but other than that, it's really quite solid. Well, guys, it's a new day. It's a little bit colder than the last time, and it's windy, so sorry about that. And we're by a highway, so the audio is probably not going to be the best, but... I'm excited, the sun's out, we gotta work on this guy. So I think what we're gonna do is work on getting the old bench seat out. Cause you know, we gotta gut this interior, it's gross. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, well, we'll just get these two bolts out and the other two bench seat bolts out. And then hopefully I'll be able to drag it out that side. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys, but I got this door open, you know, Mr. Jammed a door. Look at that. Oh yeah. What happened was this little star wheel that it spins in there, it was all frozen bound up. So some WD-40 and a little massaging got that guy open. Ugh, gross. Yep. That's why we're hosing it out, because we got to make it livable in here, because I like this rig. But might I just say, I mean, look at the faded color. Look at that original color, which I did some research. It's turquoise metallic. Oh, it's a pretty color. Imagine if I sprayed the whole truck that, how nice it would be. All right, we got WD-40 on these bolts. Yeah, it's a loud highway. Well, while I was fooling around with those bolts, look what I found under the seat. Ooh. Really old 7-Up. That's cool. And a Coke. Nifty. And a good little container. We can use that when we change the oil. Okay, I got all the bolts out. We're going to try to juggle this seat out by ourselves. So, wish me luck. Also, look at the little gem I found under the seat while I was fooling around down there. Turtle Wax Instant Traction Tire Spray. Wow. Stuck in snow, spray and go. That's kind of cool. I'm guessing it was a two, it's a two-wheel drive, you know, and he got stuck, so he wanted some traction just in case. Cool. Alright, let's get this seat out. It's really bad. Yeah, gross. You know what? I think we'll sweep it out and then I'm going to take this vinyl floor out because there's stuff under there. So we just, we need to just clean it all out, get all the junk out. Because you know, if we don't, 
when we got the windows down we're cruising the highway this stuff will just be blowing around in there so yeah we don't want that so you know Don Whitehead Chevy in Blackford Idaho is where she's from and underneath the seat here we've got the build sheet there it is Don Whitehead Chevy Cadillac 106 South Broadway Fremont plant oh California so this truck was built in California this is so cool routing Salt Lake I'm guessing it went through Salt Lake when it was delivered anyway just really cool so I removed these pieces of trim here that hold the vinyl floor in and we're just gonna use a wire brush and hopefully restore these this is about as good as we're gonna get though because they're rusted out kind of on the back side but that's okay next I think we're gonna oh come on now pull that floor out well that was easy now we just got to decide do we keep this insulation stuff or not I don't know I might but then we'll oh <gasps> guys I see a piece of paper there well I just don't believe it behind this flappy guy on the gas tank is the build sheet Wow that is crazy to see that thing that's a 52 year old piece of paper that survived. Wow. This gas tank leak checked by, can't tell. But they checked it. Hmm. Well, I think that's pretty good progress for one day. Got the interior all gutted for the most part. We're still gonna pull that tank out and make sure it's all clean in there before we hook it up to the motor but anyway I'll get in here and we'll hose it out we'll clean it up real good and we'll get to that hopefully a day when the weather's better well that escalated quickly I discovered a mouse nest in the blower motor and the air box and stuff and you can't get to these bottom bolts so I had to drop the whole inner fender drop all those bolts so I can get in there and we're gonna take this whole guy out and then we're gonna dig the huge mouse nest that is back here and inside the cab where the vent door is for fresh air. And we're gonna replace the heater core while we're at it because it's 50 years old. So that's probably due. So that's the plan. So for the most part, we got the box disconnected and the heater core hose is disconnected. However, there's studs along the bottom here that the heater box is going to have to come forward to in order to get off the firewall and so I'm going to have to take the hood hinge bolts out and disconnect that slide it forward so that we can actually get this box out we got a slight issue it's a mouse nest how do I get good lighting yeah disgusting really really gross Pray for me, Josh. I should have a mask on, shouldn't I? Nah. COVID is a hoax, man. That is mask. Oh! Grandma's not gonna be happy about that on her driveway. <laughs> Don't remind me. We might clean it off. That is awful. Oh, it's a... Look, at, it's a skeleton, right there. A mouse skeleton. There is a mouse skeleton in there. Oh, that is yummy. Take it off, man. Here's our problem. There's a cable holding it on that I have to disconnect. So I have to dig through the mouse turds and get it out. Just like, cut it. Starting to think there isn't a cable. It's right there. I can see it. Oh! Juicy. Oh dude, the cable came undone. Nice! Bro, that was so lucky. <laughs> 
Okay, now I'm gonna get it. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Yeah. Show the camera. Okay. Oh, you guys seeing that? Gross. Oh, oh there's skeletons in there. Yeah. Nasty. Echo. Oh. Oh, that's oh. gross. Okay. Time to keep bringing it out. Okay, you ready for this, Josh? So ready. I say we burn it. Oh. Lift the hood, lift the hood. If it's full, I'm gonna, oh, it is. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's, oh. I think that's illegal, folks. That is disgusting. That is what we're dealing with. That would explain the smell in the cab. <laughs> and how it started lighting on fire. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna get a little trash bucket, AKA sand bucket here, and we're gonna just, dude, we should get a trash bag probably actually. Oh, there's cool on that. Well, it was, I spilled it everywhere. <laughs> okay, well, let's go get a trash bag. I say we burn it. Well, the task at hand now appears to be, we're gonna take that whole heater out because the whole heating system and the whole rig is just, it's a mouse hotel, basically. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Let me get you in here so we can take a look at it. Check this out. Yep, it's uh, what you might call full. So we'll remove that screw there and hopefully we can get the box out, so. Here goes the removal of the box, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Oh, mercy sakes. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 ho oh. ho. Wow. Oh, we got wires. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is bad. Um, Okay. Okay. Regroup. Now I just have one cable I forgot to un unhook here, so we'll do that. Woo! Oh man. This is so pleasant. Well, it already smells better in here. Holy. Well, I got a majority of the heating components out of the rig. As you can see, they're right here. Ugh. It's bad. It's just, it's terrible. It's really bad. It's every single place that the mice could make a house, they did, and then some. I mean, I just don't realistically want to, or even, I don't, I don't want heat that bad. I figure it's about time to see what's in the glove box, since I said I was going to do that in the first video and didn't get around to it. Come on. There we go. Oh, yep. I'll get all that stuff just out on the floor here and let's take a look at it see if we got any dates that looks like an owner's manual possibly alrighty so let's look at the treasures we got from the glove box I'm just gonna go right to the coolest thing I found and that is this plate right here it says my great uncle's name on it Pingree Idaho and then the date 3 
31, 1969, which must have been the date that he bought this truck or something. It's got the VIN number to the truck right behind my thumb. And I don't know if this is like, he got this from the dealer most likely. Proof he owned it, bought it brand new. I don't know. Ownership plate, something. Very cool. Do not see those anymore. Wow. I mean, this is as close to time traveling as you're going to get. Kentucky Fried Chicken, chicken Wet Nap. Wow. That's old. We got a bottle opener. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Oh. I was like, if that falls and shatters, it's not going to be a spare anymore. Because we got a tail light out in the back. So this should replace that. Old pen. This is the oldest test light I think I have ever seen. I mean, look at that. Old. And then a uh, couple other things. Oh. Come here. Points. Points. Yep. Yeah. They're shot, but they're points for our distributor. Alrighty. And then this is all just junk. Gloves. Oh, this is not junk. There's a piece of the original owner's manual. The cover, which is arguably the coolest part, so we'll keep that. And uh, yeah, most of this is just junk, garbage. So we'll throw it away. But uh, some pretty cool stuff. And we'll vacuum that out, of course. So, But, dang it, we don't have a date or any proof of insurance as to when it was last registered. So I will continue to figure that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. In the next video, we will continue cleaning it up. And we will also be transporting it to Utah. So stay tuned. It'll be a lot of fun. Thank you guys.